In this video, I'm going to be showing you some evidence about the obesity epidemic in the United States. So we're going to be showing the CDC obesity maps. Um, so let's go ahead and get to it. Um, if you want to get this data for yourself, you can um, go to the website in this QR code. I'll also put a link to the website, the CDC website um, that has this data in the description below this video. Um, but basically what we're looking at here is um, starting in 2011, uh, they do have data before 2011, um, but they use a different methodology, so you can't really compare um, the previous data to this data and beyond, which is what we're doing in this uh, video. Uh, but I'll put a link in the description below uh, also to an older video of mine where I, I took all of the data available at that time and put it into one video, but it's a, it's a voiceless video, so this is going to be with some narration. But anyways, here we have um, the 2011 uh, obesity uh, data from the CDC. This is based on body mass index or BMI. And you can see that um, pretty much all the states are participating. Uh, well, actually, all the states are participating in, in this year. And um, most of them are somewhere in the, say, 20% to you know 30%, uh, maybe up to 35% for some of the states um, in the South, as well as a little bit of the Midwest, um, as far as the percent of the population that has obesity. All right, so we're gonna now cycle through from year to year, uh, starting in, uh, here again in 2011 up to 2019, which is the most recent data on the CDC website as of uh, me recording this. All right, so here we have 2012. We're seeing a little bit of a progression here um, where we're getting uh, much more of the South and Midwest uh, showing that 30 to 35% um, obesity rates uh, for those states. Um, and we're progressing now into 2013. We have states now starting to show the greater than 35%, starting with Mississippi and West Virginia. And a good portion of the map is now in this 30 to 35% range, where uh, only a handful of states are in this 20 to 25% range that originally had a decent uh, representation on the map. Up to 2014, Again, this uh, this light green color, or I guess not light green, the light green wasn't on the map from the beginning. The, the under 20% was not there even in 2011. But anyways, this, this green color is slowly uh, fading away, but it's still holding on. But a lot more of the country is now in the 30 to 35% uh, obesity prevalence uh, rates. And we have another, uh, another uh, state, Arkansas, jumping in in the 35% and above uh, category. 2015, marching along even more, Louisiana, Alabama, um, uh, now in that greater than 35% category. 2016, um, the green color is almost completely gone. Everything is pretty much 25% uh, uh, obesity prevalence rates or higher, most of it being the 30 to 35% category. 2017, progresses even more, 2018 progresses even more, up to 2019, which again is the, the newest data that the CDC website has currently um, on their website. Um, and you see that there's basically just uh, Washington DC, which is essentially just a single city, um, and Colorado are the only two states left in that 20 to 25% category. Almost the entire map is at 30 to, uh, uh, or at least 30% obesity rates or above. There's a handful left in the 25 to 30% range, but this is what we're talking about when we talk about the obesity epidemic. So let's kind of compare these uh, across time. This is a GIF uh, image showing uh, mar the march from 2011 to 2019. Uh, but here's 2011, here's 2019. You can see a progressive darkening and reddening, which with the way they do their maps, it means um, greater obesity prevalence. So again, this is the obesity epidemic. This is what we're talking about when people say the obesity epidemic. It's a slow progression over time. It's, I guess it's not super slow because it's something that's measurable year by year um, where we're getting higher and higher obesity rates so within the United States. And this isn't just the United States. This is happening in other countries around the world. Most countries um, where uh, there's a fair amount of income, uh, uh, median incomes fairly high are going to have issues with uh, obesity at this point in time. Um, so 
let's get some summary data here. So again, here's that 2019 map, uh, the 2017 to 2018 uh, data collection period is the most recent that the CDC has on their website for sort of summarizing it. Uh, so it doesn't include this year 2019, but 42.5% of the total U.S. population um, was considered obese based on a BMI or body mass index of 30 or greater. There was 31.1% of the population was overweight. This is the category for BMI between 25 and basically 30. And then if you combine those two together, 73.6% of the population is either overweight or obese. Um, and so that doesn't leave a whole lot of the, you know, the, the slice of the U.S. population left. Most of the U.S. population is either overweight or obese. Um, that leaves about 25% of the population that is not. Keep in mind that if you look at the BMI um, scale, there's still the underweight category that would be in that, that remaining, you know, 26 and 0.4 or so percent. Um, so if you were to be able to take that out, which I don't have that data, the CDC, as far as I know, don't, doesn't provide that. Um, we're probably looking at less than a quarter of the population that has a normal weight um, uh, in the United States. So that's, those are really uh, stark numbers. Um, and what's even more dramatic is that this is, so this these values are across all racial and ethnic groups. Some of the racial and ethnic groups are actually um, uh, seeing even worse numbers than uh, the general population is doing. Uh, so why do we care about this? Um, there are a number of diseases related to obesity. Uh, so people with obesity are more likely to get the diseases or conditions on this list. So hypertension, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, uh, gallbladder disease, uh, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, um, a handful of cancers, and then uh, again, this is a this is a very short list. This list could be much much longer than this. Um, it, there's a lot of other conditions that are also linked to uh, having a high amount of body mass or body fat, and so uh, obesity is something that we do need to try to combat against as a society, and also those of us in the exercise and sort of health professions, it's something we need to be aware of and try to um, uh, combat against in our, our careers. Definitely something that we need to know is there and we need to also learn how to measure it and how to uh, sort of, com again, combat against it. Um, the next video I'll be uh, putting out and I'll be linking to it in the description below this once I am able to get that out is going to be on some basic anthropometric measurements um, that are often used in order to assess uh, weight status, uh, BMI being the big one, um, as well as different ways of carrying weight that may increase uh, cardiovascular disease risks um, one way or another. So um, go ahead and check out those links below if you want to see any of those videos.